Welcome back. Like most serious car collectors, Tammy Allen's tastes are very diverse. Sure, she has Mustangs, Camaros, Barracudas, and Challengers, but this pair represents complete polar opposites in the automotive spectrum. Under the big top, now on the auction stage, that Messerschmitt that Justin Bell introduced us to earlier. 1955, or excuse me, 50, well, we have two different numbers. 55 on the graphic, 56 on the car card. KR-175. What's interesting about this, number one, obviously, it's a three-wheeler, but look inside in the cockpit. You don't steer with a steering wheel. You've got handlebars right here. That's how you're going to steer this thing. I don't know that I want to be doing massive speeds in this thing, but obviously this was what Messerschmitt was doing in the first post-war years, and for a while was moderately successful. They made them all the way up to 1964. Rick, this is a three-wheeler, I believe, and that means that in England it could be registered as a motorcycle and not pay the high taxes that were applied to automobiles in England and other European countries. Yeah, and also at low CCs, only 200 CC engine, that helped as well. And also, I guess the original version of this had a, a actually a rope starter for the motor. You pull it with the rope, although you could get an electric as an option later on. Look at that number, upper right, we're at 30 grand. I can tell you, up close, it does look nice. Is that gentleman done? Now, I know some very passionate collectors of these microcars, among them uh, the head of Pixar and Disney Animation, John Lasseter. For quite some time, they had a microcar in the Pixar lobby uh, on display that was John's. Wow, $40,000. Here comes that Viper we saw in the mother's car care cam a few moments ago. Beautiful 2002 in pewter. There aren't many cars that are only eight years old that are true collectibles, uh, but the V10 Dodge Vipers have already achieved that status. Sticker on this car was about $75,000, and uh, you see the window sticker there on the passenger window, alleged to have been only driven on sunny days by the current owner. 6,800 actual miles, 75.5. What percentage of that sticker price will this go for? One thing I want to keep in mind is the description of this car. It is claimed to be a coupe. However, what we actually have here is the clip-on hardtop on a Roadster, just a small amount of some semantics. Under the hood, of course, the final year, 2002, for the 488 cubic inch Gen 1 Viper V10. It became a 505 cubic inch motor the following year. And Justin Bell was talking earlier about kind of the crudeness of some of the early models. You realize it wasn't until 2001 and 2002 that the Vipers even got ABS. This model has analog brakes. But think about that. In those early models, you didn't even get the, the analog brakes, meaning you had to be a guy who knew how to work the brakes. Um, when we talk about the body lines, again, when I go back to the GTS, which has that coupe that kind of goes back down the top, this has that little top on. It's kind of a kind of a clunky look to a degree. It's one of those things that doesn't look quite as smooth. Obviously, that's not what, it's not designed to be as pretty as the GTS. Personally, I prefer the look of the GTS, but it's still a monster and it's definitely a collectible. In production on these, there was 545 Roadsters done in 2002, so not exactly common by any stretch. Now, Vipers may defy the rule of Corvettes, which is when the top goes down, the price goes up. The coupe we saw earlier went for $50,000. We'll see where this one lands. When the Viper came out, the idea of a 488 cubic inch engine in 1992 just blew my mind, let alone the 505 inches we get today. Long live the Viper. This car is quite a bit newer than the one that sold earlier. That was a 96. This is an 02. 
But I think when you look in the future, 20 years from now, people who are young, these are the collectibles of the future. And they're collectible now. And there was some talk that Viper might be going away, but the good news, it's gotten a stay of execution for at least the next 12 months. That's good. Well, we're at 80 percent of the original sticker. I got Jesse in I have I have sixty nine Soldier sixty nine thousand front row of Jesse. Well, that's better than 90% of the original sticker price, so very little depreciation. No appreciation on that one just yet, but that is a torque monster. Coming up, cars never before seen on TV from the collection of Tammy Allen. People are so amazed that a girl could buy cars and like cars. 